Hi, my name is Deepak Malhotra and I'm a professor of negotiations at Harvard Business School. I'm also author of the book, Negotiating the Impossible, and co-author of the book, Negotiation Genius. In this series of videos, I'm talking about negotiations, and in each clip, I talk about one key idea, a proposal, an approach, a principle, or a tactic that hopefully will help you as you navigate your own deals and disputes. In this clip, I want to talk about the situation that happens often in negotiations where you're not negotiating with the final decision maker, or the person you're negotiating with isn't the only decision maker on the issue. Anytime you find yourself in a situation like that, the advice I give to my clients and to my students is always make sure at the end of the negotiation, you've asked yourself one simple question. Have I made this person an effective ambassador of my message? So when I'm no longer there, are they gonna be able to convey my proposal, my framing of the situation, my message as effectively as if I had been there myself? How do you do that? Well, the habit that I've cultivated is at the end of every important negotiation, I make sure that I reiterate the one, two, or three most important components of my proposal or of my message so that when they're walking out of the room, I'm ensuring that what's ringing in their ears, what's the most important aspect that they remember from the meeting is the thing that I want them most to remember. Because otherwise, what often happens is when they leave the room and they run into their boss, maybe in the hallway an hour later or a day later, they need to convey to their team what happened in that negotiation. The things that they remember as being most salient might not actually be the most important from my point of view. Maybe they end up remembering what we talked about last. Maybe they end up remembering what we spent most of our time on. And those things might not be the most important components of the message I would like to convey. So at the end of every meeting, I always make sure to ask myself, have I made this person an effective ambassador of my message? So that when they are there with their partners, their colleagues, their coworkers, or their boss, and I am not there, that when somebody asks them the question, what was that meeting all about? What did he want? What was he proposing? What happened? That what comes out of their mouth is consistent with the message that I would have liked to convey. Now, there's lots of other things that can go wrong. They might not want to convey certain aspects of the message. There might be incentive problems. There might be other things that get in the way of there being a clean transmission of my proposal or my message to these other parties. But what I don't want to get in the way of things is that the ambassador themselves was not fully equipped, didn't know the key talking points from my point of view. When you end every negotiation, reiterating the things that you think are most important, you minimize the likelihood that things go wrong downstream. Good luck.